Kakuda. Got a doctor's appointment this morning in Gainesville at uh, UF Health Shands in Gainesville. Uh, the post op, post op um, visit. Uh, I was there last week. They removed the stitches in my leg and the stitches in my face. Uh, there's a couple of stitches that I still got in my face. Uh, a stitch on my lip broke last night. And uh, I left earlier, around 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, a buddy of mine was going to let me take his car. He has a 2001 Toyota Echo. It's almost 45 miles a gallon, and uh, he recently purchased it a couple weeks ago. He uh, brings his wife to and from work with the car, and uh, he uh, said I could drive the car to my visit. I left this morning at 5 o'clock, first time ever driving the car. And uh, I didn't feel comfortable driving it. And uh, the brake pedal was really low. And uh, the power steering was really tight. Like it didn't have power steering or power brakes. Um, I felt the vibration coming from his front caliber. And, uh, there was a grinding noise, too, in his car. So, I really didn't feel comfortable driving his car. And I drove it about 10 miles down the road and turned around. And, uh, brought it back, brought it back to him and decided to drive my truck. I didn't want to take the responsibility of his car breaking down. I have AAA flat, premium platinum or something like that, which gives me 200 mile free toes for free toes a year. I could get his car back, but I don't have means to fix this car right now. I've been out of work for a few years right now because of the cancer and my health. I haven't really been able to go outside for a long period of time. I've been very short breath and my energy hasn't been there. So I'm really looking forward to uh, getting back to uh, living my life again and doing what I enjoy most is uh, going to the junkyards, buying uh, repairable cars and flipping them on Craigslist of buying so stuff and selling them on eBay. And uh, that's how I make a living, is buying and selling stuff, flipping stuff. And uh, I use online a lot to do that. Especially Craigslist. I like buying cars off of Craigslist and dirt bikes. I use the other avenues, you know, your Facebook marketplaces and stuff. And I, uh, I like buying stuff and selling them on eBay. I like antiques and stuff. So I really get really uh, looking forward to getting back and living my life and trying to make a living again and uh, making some videos. I really love YouTube. I like everybody's, I like the uh, how-to stuff on YouTube a lot. I enjoy learning and uh, I, learn, I learn a lot off of YouTube. I've been on my own for a long time, for years, and uh, I like what YouTube teaches me because I've been learning a lot on my own for years. I like
like to learn from others, and YouTube just gives me a nice avenue to learn all kinds of stuff, finances and everything. And uh, you know, I look on, I look at all kinds of stuff on there. Diets. I looked up what they were doing to me. My cancer procedures and stuff like that. Uh, the different types of cancer that I had, the basal cell carcinoma with scurvy. And, uh, you know, just informs me of stuff that I don't know. It's, you know, it's a giant library. You can ask it anything. And Google's the same thing. I just want to take a moment too while I'm taking this trip off here. I wasn't going to take my truck because my truck is a 1995 F-350 with a 351.5.8 liter 3 speed automatic. I have no overdrive in this truck from the factory. It doesn't have overdrive, so it doesn't get the best gas mileage. It's not a highway vehicle. It's set up for, for towing. It's got a 411 rear end in it. And that's a tall gear for pulling, for torque. So it's really horrible on, uh, on the highway and around town. But I like big vehicles, I like roomy vehicles. I go to the junkyard so a truck is more my speed. And I like a roomy vehicle like this where a bunch of my friends can get in it and we can go to the junkyard together. It's got air conditioning. I maintain my vehicles really good. So it's in pretty much tip-top shape. So, I don't have any problems with it breaking down. I have my AAA Premier Platinum card, so I can go 200 miles away from home and know I'm getting home, getting my vehicle towed home. I can fix it at a later date if I have to. I also want to thank everybody for their prayers and support in their words of encouragement. I appreciate that. I appreciate your donations. Your donations have helped me more than you really know. Because I haven't been healthy in the last few years, I really haven't been able to work and bring in an income. I've really been supporting myself by selling off my projects that I had, which I actually sold off everything that I had. I sold off my F100 project with the 5.4 supercharged motor. I sold that. I sold my Camaro, uh, my 1970 Camaro. I sold off the 72 Rally Sport Camaro. I sold off my Chevelle, which I really didn't want to sell, but I had no income. I needed the money. The car was sitting. It wasn't getting work done. And, uh, you know, I just, I sold it. I probably should have I probably could have kept it, but I sold it. And, uh, so your donations have really been helping me. And I'll be all honest with you, someone the other day gave me a $50 donation. That $50 donation hit my account this morning. And that $50 donation is going to help get me home today from Gainesville in this in my Ford F-350 since it gets horrible gas mileage. It's gonna cost me.
a lot of money to drive this up to Gainesville and back. It's 150 miles each way. It costs roughly about forty dollars on its hand to fill it. And I'm gonna have to fill it one of their on my way back. And uh, so it's gonna end up costing me like eighty dollars in fuel to travel three hundred miles. <laughs> yeah it sucks. There's no overdrive in this car. <laughs> Uh, so, I just wanted to take a minute and thank you guys for your encouragement, your, your support. It means a lot to me. I've been on my own um, for years, really since high school. I've been on my own. And uh, I was on myself down here in Florida. My family lives in Massachusetts, and uh, I talked to them. My uh, parents are still alive. They, uh, they're not doing too well. They, um, both of them have had strokes, and now my father is dealing with Hodgkin's disease. He, uh, he forgets people, he forgets things. He no longer has his driver's license because of his memory, because he forgets stuff. Um, he had dropped my mother off at work one day and forgot that he had dropped her off. And he was driving around looking for my mother, upset. He was crying and stuff because he didn't know where my mother was. He ended up showing that up at her work crying because he didn't know where she was and because of that they took his driver's license so he's home alone all the time now uh, my mother takes care of him uh, he's forgot other family members and uh, I was happy he still remembered me when I went up to Massachusetts I uh, stayed with my parents and, uh, you know, he remembers me. I was very happy that, that you guys made that trip possible for me to go up to Dean of Harvard and uh, try to get them to take care of my cancer on my face. But they didn't accept, well, my insurance wouldn't pay for it. They said they would when I went up there because I heard a referral in Gainesville. They denied any kind of treatment at Dana Farmer because I had a referral on Gainesville. So that's who did the operation on my face is Gainesville UF Health Chance in Gainesville Cancer Center. So, they treat me good. I had a visit there last week. They took the stitches out of me, out of my leg and face. I'm going for just for a checkup today. Next week I'm going for surgery on my mouth. And uh, just a little update and a thank you. Just let you know that your donations have really helped me out a lot. I like Thank you everybody for the support and prayers. I feel blessed that so many strangers have, that don't even know me have shared their love with me. And that means a lot to me being on my own for so long. Uh, it, you know, I, I've kind of bottled up and kind of been to myself these years that I've been on my own. It means a lot. It touched me a lot. I've actually cried because of emotion, my emotions that you guys have showed love for me and you guys don't even know me. You showed compassion to help me while I've been down. It means a lot. So just thank you everybody on the highway and driving. 
on the turn fight for the turn fight, then put the Gainesville to the start of the fight. Man. Wish me luck. Uh, last time I drove my truck, the alternator died on it, costing $140 to fix the alternator. The tow was free, but it took a lot of a lot of time. It took hours for them to come out there and pick me up and bring me home. So when you got cancer and you're not 